Hi there guys, welcome to Dino's World, welcome to my exclusive first ride review of the QJ Motors SRC 500, the latest and the greatest from the QJ Motor family and the latest or the new thumper in town, the new retro roadster SRC 500 where C stands for cruiser. Five hundred cc or maybe four hundred and eighty cc single cylinder air cooled fuel injected motor, twenty five PS, thirty six newton meters, five speed gearbox, telescopic forks, gas charged twin shock absorbers at the back, three hundred mm front disc, two forty mm rear disc, dual channel ABS, and uh, you don't get LED lighting. I think these are all halogen lights, but the color schemes are really really good. And uh, we get Maxxis tires, 130 section rear, 100 section front, 19 inch front wheel, 18 inch rear wheel. But the design says it all. It looks really, really different and attractive and unique. So, does it uh, really is gonna stand the test of time <laughs> with the likes of Royal Enfield around, twin flawed uh, instrument cluster, gear position indicator, rev counter right over here, speedometer fuel gauge all the relevant info hazard lights engine kill switch aluminium levers so that was the exhaust note so let's get going six thousand rpm is where it is shifting up run 5 speed gearbox I have touched it on 145 doing the top speed I'll show that footage to you now you can go ahead and watch that well you saw the top speed run now uh, where does it uh, sit where does it position itself 2 lakh 69 thousand extra room feels a little expensive uh, but, uh, fit and finish build quality looks good this is uh, who is this bike for then uh, first of all a lot of hate against the Chinese uh, uh, more you know manufacturers or Chinese brands here in India but uh, when you look around Oppo, Vivo it's all Chinese loaded or uh, the entire smartphone segment is Chinese uh, even the JBL speakers that you're buying here are made in China so if you look at your home half of your appliances are made in China so you can actually think more practically and uh, treat each product for what it is instead of uh, being a little uh, biased so I'm not uh, advocating for China but still have to be practical until things are made in India more and more so for now we have this motorcycle and uh, for those who love retro motorcycles retro cruisers who think that Royal Enfield are like uh, too much of uh, too common uh, almost like uh, yeah, you have every other bike is a Royal Enfield on the street. That's how common it has become. So if you want something different, more exclusive, this has a lot of, uh, you know, road presence, a lot of visual appeal because that I can say because the last seven days I've been riding this and uh, people have noticed this. People have stopped me and asked me, how does it feel like, which brand is this and where can I get this? And uh, that's the kind of uh, road presence it demands, that's the kind of visual appeal, especially some colors. So like uh, apart from this color, you also have the white color. I believe that looks very very striking in terms of 
equipment yeah everything is right on point nothing is over the top or extraordinary you have good suspension good brakes the seat is nice and cushioned a good quality Riding seat two up then uh, the pillion the seat space yes, if, if you are on the heavy side if you are a heavy set uh, male just, or a female for that matter the riding to up you might the pillion might be left wanting for more space but apart from that everything is good also riding solo on this bike is absolute fun absolute uh, blast because you have so much of torque abundance of torque just ring the throttle and the bike jumps into action man. that is <laughs> that's the kind of fun it has on offer like open the throttle and it just leaps ahead that 36 newton meters of torque that's pretty good uh seat height i think is around 800 mm and uh, yeah, it's manageable forward set foot pegs so it's a cruiser so uh, that's bound to be there and uh, one thing i really really feel could have been better is the handlebar the handlebar is shorter i feel it should have been a uh, slightly wider handlebar such that it complemented the character of a cruiser see uh apun bolte hain ki jab enfield chalate hain to seena thaan ke chalate hain if the handlebar is slightly wider see it's like cramped in it's like uh, i'm less uh, you know you feel yeah if you see this i'm cramped in if i feel if i'm riding like this it would have been much much better so that is something we need to notice so in our uh, in my school days the body builders in our uh, <laughs> mohalla they used to come riding an enfield like upright seating posture open chested like seena thaan ke chalana and that is what is called uh, so for uh, roadsters vintage roadsters retro roadsters you have that masculine feel to it so and even of course nowadays even the uh, girls or women are taking to riding so even for them uh, for them to enjoy an enfield or a retro motorcycle uh, for them to steer it easily and feel that they are riding a, a retro vintage style motorcycle they should have better control for them to have better control the handlebar should have been slightly wider right over here or something says that uh, you felt more in control uh, this one is more like street focused kind of a handlebar for you to you know literally uh, squeeze yourself through traffic but on the highways is where you feel uh, you had a wider handlebar more relaxed seating posture it have been less fatiguing so that is something that you need to note that the handlebar should have been somewhere over here instead of here so that's pretty much it everything else is on point the refinement is there there's no vibrations it the torque is really good enjoyable your abundance of torque 145 was the top speed and it was uh, rock solid uh, it is not a sport bike to be absolutely you know planted and uh, feel confident for a roadster it offered good confidence uh, larger wheels 19 inch front wheel 18 inch rear wheel offer good high speed stability good highway cruising capability so you can cruise at uh, 115 120 once the engine is brake uh, done the brake in or the braking in is done or the run in uh, period is done it's just 175 km on the clock so that is something you need to note i picked it up with 0 km on the odo can you believe it so i am kind of the first person to ride this and thanks to qj motors india for uh, the trust and allowing me to ride this motorcycle first up it is beautifully uh, made motorcycle uh, it depends on your personal choice i would definitely uh, ask you to ride this motorcycle kind of reminds us of the imperial 400 is it uh, a bored out uh, stroked out version of the uh, imperial 400 well they are not giving clarity about that but it appears as such but the engine and the thump and the exhaust note is there make you feel like you're riding a proper retro roadster a vintage motorcycle or vintage cruiser so that's pretty much it if you like what you see and want to see more pure automobile content coming your way feel free to stay tuned for more action coming here right up at dino's vault until next time dino saying ciao take care god bless and ride safe